one notion that I'm thinking of squashing is the notion that collective identity is weak. Hold on. <clears throat> the idea that identifying yourself based on things such as nationality, ethnicity, race, or let me use something more trivial. How about a fandom? That these things are weak. Having an I identifying with something that's a collective that's weak. I want to critique this, but I want to do it in a way that's intellectually honest and actually respects the other side's opinion, which many would say makes you bound to lose, well I don't care. This is the way I feel it should be done, and I'm going to do it this way. The premise I usually hear is that people that identify with a collective are just trying to, and this is that pseudo-psychology, they're trying to make up for their shortcomings with a bunch of other people. For example, if you identify as white, well, you're only looking to identify as white and you know, feeling good about white people's accomplishments because they outshine your accomplishments and you haven't lived a very fulfilling life. And when people say stuff like this, what they're basically saying, sometimes they actually say it, I have accomplished more in my life, sometimes at absurdly young ages, than you will ever accomplish in your entire life. Uh, right now, where I am, that's higher than you'll ever be. And that's a terrible notion because Usually it's dumb, shallow, and empty stuff that you usually get from the INT sphere, and it can be a little annoying. You got too many keyboard warriors online, and there's too many people in real life that you know are keyboard warriors somewhere because they display the same personality nerdy types. You see, collective identity could be weak if you take it to an absurdist direction, which usually this doesn't happen. And when it does, then it really is weak. Hold on. Say that I don't feel like my collective has accomplished anything of value. All right, well, I'm going to identify and represent another race or ethnicity's accomplishments. Yeah, that Germanic stuff, man. They always do it right. The Celts, man, they're always on point. Or, or let me get even more absurdist. What about them Japanese people? I'm an honorary Japanese guy. Anime. Kuro Resu. JRPGs. The Rape of Nanking, which is an exaggeration. A massacre. But, you know, let's take it to absurd directions. We can identify as things that are obviously not ourselves to make up for our shortcomings. Really, that 
And I do see stuff like that happening, or maybe people will be white guys in the red black culture, all the accomplishments there, and they live vicariously through that. Okay, that is kind of weak. That really is. Because you're seeing it based off other people's merits in and of itself. You're not really feeling the essence of that place. I mean, that group or that collective. You're not really resonating with it. You just want to pick a winner. And that is weak. I could understand that. But what isn't weak is feeling pride for your own culture, for your own collective, for your own sort of values, for things of this nature. That's not a weakness. If anything, that's a strength because now you have an incentive to care for other people in a way not just random acts of kindness that make you feel better about humanity or this corny stuff you hear on the internet too much no I'm talking about in a way where you feel like you're helping nurture the next generation forevermore something with that level of depth collective identity is good if you want things like traditionalism and if you want to provide a foundation for the future because individual individual is there for a very limited time we're expendable we're temporary we're mortal we're limited in that direction and the solution to all of that is collective identity so it is a strength in that way and it's not the end-all be-all either you can can't just be absolutely about the collective it's not something that I hold as a position and sometimes you have to look at things with the goggles of reality I can't just look at any collective I resonate with or belong to and think oh this is the absolute best or this is perfect without flaws because that's not always the case and most of the times it isn't the case so yeah there needs to be a bit of a balance but as long as you have that there is no real weakness to identifying with something that's more than just yourself anyway this is Mr. Wonka 7 and now this video didn't need to be so long but I'm thirsty as shit.